Hello, this is Tyler Young with Go Engineer Technical Support. In today's What's New 2013 video, I'm going to show you a nice new feature of inserting components into assemblies. So, as you can see, I've started a new assembly in this example here called Assembly 1. And we have our uh, Begin Assembly option where we get to browse to the documents we want to insert. So, we're going to do this. We're just going to browse. These are the different files that we want to insert into this new assembly. In 2013, we can now insert multiple components at once. And to do this, I'm going to start by selecting this knee and the saddle, and I'm going to just hold Control and click that. So now I've got both of those selected, and I'm going to hit Open. You can see that both of these components now are highlighted here in the Parts Assemblies to Insert. I'm going to just click here on the origin, and that is going to insert there at the origin. Now the second part is here in the saddle, but you can see the first item, the knee, went away because it's been inserted. Now again I select there at the origin, and that goes away. So here we can see next to uh, the knee and the saddle we have an F, meaning they're fixed, so these two items are now fixed at the origin. Let's go about and insert more items. So we'll come back to insert components, going to browse, and now we want to insert the bracket, the head, the scale, and the table. I'm going to click open on that, and again we ha now have all four of these items to click and to insert at once. I'm just going to click here in our assembly, and you can see it then goes to the next component. I'm going to click again, we've got the next, click again, and we'll just click those. Now these are free floating items in our assembly. I can go in and mate these into the correct location, and you can tell that they're free here by the, the minus sign there. So now we have those items inserted. We still have a few more to insert, and we're going to take a look at that now. So again, insert, browse. What we're going to do again is now we're going to insert the clamp, the pillar, and the pin. I'm going to click open on there. Again, we've got all three of these items. What I'm going to do this time is I'm going to pin this here. So that keeps my insert components available. What that is going to do for me now is it's going to allow me to insert multiple instances of these items. I'm going to come here and I'm going to also double click, real, uh, do a fast double click. When I do that, it's going to insert all three components at once. So we now have all three of those components inserted right there in that location. But because I had pinned that, it now allows me to insert another group. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to just rotate around. I'm going to insert those right here. Again, I'm going to double click. And then that inserts all of those. But now you can see that Insert Property Manager went away. So now that we have all of our parts inserted into the assembly, we can go in and start to mate these and create our assembly how we want. So that's a new feature inside of 2013. We can insert multiple components in one insert command. Um, I hope you've enjoyed this. Again, my name is Tyler with Go Engineer. Thank you for watching.